I want, I want to go to sleep. See, uh, see your show next week. I'm gonna be so much a part of that show next week. What my show? Oh Lord, damn right. In the comments, damn right. Right, because I was in the comments and y'all was ignoring me. I was like, that's not cute. <laughs> were we? I don't remember if we were. No, that was ignoring. Me. <laughs> Can't multitask. What up, what up, what up? Hey, welcome back to another episode of GVTV. That's right, Good Vibes Television. I am your host, one of three. RL, you know me as Moan on the show. I have my man, DJ PRS1, and the lovely Miss Savvy. Well, I hope y'all y'all missed it. Y'all missed it, man. She over here giving us giving us all all that she have this evening by eating a delicious looking apple. Lord Jesus, I hear you. I hear you. I'll be your Adam. You don't want me, my Adam. Oh Lord! Ah, snap! Here we go. Oh man! So this is the uh, 14th episode. Yes. Man, so you say you'll be her Adam? I'll be her Adam. I'll be a Steve. Oh, <laughs> Matt, that is not <laughs> you, Mo. Okay, yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, 14th episode, that's, that's really, really big, big, big milestone, uh, especially during uh, this pandemic that we're going through. Uh, nice to see a little bit of light at the uh, end of the tunnel. We've dropped down the last two weeks, been really good as far as, uh, you know, uh, the COVID nineteen coronavirus, um, all that good stuff, and of course, uh, George uh, George Floyd's funeral was today. I actually caught some of it on YouTube, mm -hmm. and um, you know it's just really good to see that a lot of people came out, even though we're supposed to uh, kind of stay a safe distance. But it was really good to see not only that a lot of people come out. But a lot of people over the last couple of weeks have reached out to the family and uh, not just do it to um, bring the spotlight on them, but to actually uh, send support, their love and, and prayers. Um, I got to watch one of the family members speak. I'm not sure if it was his aunt or a sister, but she was just so thankful and appreciative to everybody that reached out to them. And um, she said, you know, I have I have a bigger family now. I have uh, more brothers and sisters and uncles and aunts and grandparents. And she was just so appreciative to everyone that reached out to her. I'm actually going to go back later on the night. They said Joe Biden spoke at the funeral. And uh, oh, wow. it was a very powerful, um, very powerful speech. Very, they said it was beautiful, beautiful speech. So I'm, I'm, I'm after this, I'm going to go, I'm going to check that out. And um I don't know. I just feel he's like the, the he's like the Don Biden back of um, the country. He is. He is. You know, <laughs> um, we got we got a. I ain't even gonna say the name who we got in the office now and not office. Forty five. <laughs> That's exactly who we got. But um, no, nah, no. Nah, you know, for me, my my day my day was okay. My day was okay. Um, I'm really really excited. Oh, Real quick, y'all see see this clip right here? Oh yeah, this okay. Is, this is my book. This is so, my book. I got to tell you, one 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 night I came into the office and um um I'm signing into the computer and I'm like, wait a minute, four to twelve must have left some um some um code five or something on the bottom of the screen, so. I'm like, okay, I'm starting to go. I pop it open. And I'm about to go exit out. And I'm like, wait a minute. That don't read really like a code five. And I swear, I went through on page one. I scrolled down. I went like page four. And I went like page one. Like, oh, wait a minute. This Moan's book. <laughs> so I, you was like, I think you were up to page 69 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I forgot to tell you, I didn't know if you had it saved. So what I did was I saved it. I saved that portion of it on, on in, in my drive on on um on on the iDrive, and I was like, yeah, just in case, I forgot to tell you about it, but because I didn't want to just delete the whole thing, but I didn't want nobody else seeing it, so I took it off. I took it off. Thank, thank Before you. Before I got you. rid of it, I got it saved. So thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, so how I'm many pages is this book? 
the, the I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play dry. It's come a couple of pages out, man. I'm just letting you know. So I said, how many pages is this book degrading women? Uh, it's not, it, I'm actually not. I'm not degrading women. It's, uh, it's yeah, um, he actually it, isn't. It was pretty. So what I read so far was really good. It was really it's, good. It's with some not, real good it's 91 stuff. Ninety-one pages. Ninety-one pages. Right. Okay. It made me want to. It made me. It made. It inspired me to want to start my own. You know, my own book. And initially, I had started a book, but mine was more fictional. You know, but I loved the way how yours read. That that read that you. He has a nice good. He he read it reads just how you talk, Max. That's it's crazy. Oh wow! The I same way he speaks, it, that's the same way it reads. When you read it, if you read it, you can't help but hear the little Diego voice in the back door. <laughs> you can't hear. It's like, and, and somewhere in there, you should put, you should probably put in there. I'm sure right now you're reading this and you're hearing it in your mind in my voice. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I put that in the. Uh, in the right beginning, there. right? Because I swear you hear it the same way he talks right now in the show. You, 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 it, I, I could only hear when I was reading it. I just read it when I read it in his voice. Oh my god, <laughs> that's hilarious! Yeah, but it was pretty good so far. What I read, my uh, so are you gonna good. do a book signing when you finish? Absolutely, absolutely. And I, and I, um, there's a place not too far from where we work, it's actually mm -hmm. not too far from uh, the cigar shop Davidus off of uh, Central Street, right? Um, it's a restaurant, really nice restaurant. I can't think of the name, but my buddy, uh, Keon Carpenter, rest in peace. He held his book signed in there. And I was like, man, I would, that'd be nice to have mine here. So I'm going to do it down there. Right, right. It was really nice, really nice. I'm, I'm having difficulty getting in um, on my thing, Thank but uh, it is what it is. So tonight's show, people, tonight's show. Do women expect what is do women expect too much from men? The other way around. You oh, came up with the topic and you can't remember. Right. You came up with a topic. No one came up with it. Okay, uh, do women expect too much out of men and should men expect less from women? We're going to talk about uh the first half first. Do women expect too much out of men? It's crazy because, of course, you know, you with the boys, this is, this is something you talk about, I, you know, all the time, but maybe not necessarily, you know, you, you ask your homeboy that question, but you you, you catch your homeboys and y'all be talking and somebody will be like, yo, my, my lady, my lady expect me to work 60 hours a week and then cut grass on the weekend. Mm -hmm. My lady knows I work three doubles a week, and even though I'm getting home at 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night, she wants me to take the trash out. Now, mind you, she's home. After she got off from work, she get home about 4, 15, 4, 20. She's home. And what I'm saying is, I'm not, please, 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 ladies, do not get any feelings. She's home. And she ain't doing nothing. She's just sitting there, you know, watching her shows, talking on her phone, yelling at the kids, you know. But between the eight hours that she's home and I'm not, ain't nobody take the damn trash out. But when I come home after working 16 hours, I go to get in the bed and she say, don't forget the trash. Because you the man. Because you the man. But I don't walk by the kitchen. And this dishes in the sink. Mm -hmm. But I gotta take the trash up. I gotta work mm -hmm. 15 hours. So th this is this is a conversation that men have. We, we talk to each other all the time about this. And we're not bashing our women. We're actually comparing whose woman is the worst. Huh? <laughs> say that again. Uh, 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 my hearing aid went out. What did you say? <laughs> So when men talk to other men about their women, okay, we're not, you know, we're not bashing our women. We're actually comparing, okay, to see who has the worst woman. Wow! But we don't say it. We don't say it. We never say it. And, and you know, we are everyone notice. We never say it. But you have a man that will leave the conversation, walk away. All right, man, I get up with you, and he's thinking, man, his wife is a bitch. I'm so glad, you know, I got the woman that I have. Now that doesn't mean right. he went home to take the trash out. He's just happy. <laughs> he that. Okay, ain't shit changed. He ain't gonna take the trash out. Right. 
But um, it's, it's it's trust and believe. And um, I know I, women talk, but men, men, I'm gonna tell you now, when men get with other men, I believe men more about their woman than women talk about their man with their with their girlfriends. Because we got a whole bunch of complaints, but when you know, when we away from our woman, we get with the fellas. You know, yeah, we had complaint women, department. Yeah, do women expect too much out of men? Oh, hell yeah, it's 2020. I'm gonna say hell yeah. I'm gonna say hell yeah for so many different reasons. I'm not even gonna use my favorite reason, but yeah. And and and, and I say that and I stand comfortably on it because women talk so much shit now. And, you know, a woman will disrespect a man in a heartbeat, will will tear down whatever he got going on, whatever he's been doing, a woman will negate. Whatever the hell this man has been doing fast these days and will assert herself and be like, I'm doing this. I've been doing this. I don't need you. I've been doing it before you, before I met you, before I met you, I had a place. I had a car. I was taking my trash out. I thought when I would get a man, he would be doing this, doing this, doing this. Mm -hmm. And you just, you kind of just look at these ladies, right? And you just kind of shake your head because. It, for the most part, when you meet a woman and y'all start to talk and stuff, you don't want to, you know, she don't want you to take her independence from her. Oh, baby, I can do this for you. No, 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 I got that. And even friends, because I've gone to lunch with co-workers and be like, I got it. Oh, no, 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 Lynn, I got it. I, I, no, I got it. I like to pay for myself. But then you get in a relationship and but when things would get rolling, the, the time go by. Now all of a sudden she's not as independent. But she didn't put up this whole independent speech. She didn't put up this whole independent march. You've been marching independent for 90 days. The 91st day, you're no longer independent. You're you're now disabled. <laughs> My sticker in, in, in your car. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, they expect too much, and 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 more than just taking out the trash. But I'm gonna go ahead, savvy. Yep. How do you feel? Do do women expect too much out of men? Um, I'm gonna say yes and no on that, because like when I have conversation with my um friends, um, sometimes they say things to me that I'm just like, wow, like you really get mad because he didn't do that. You know, um, but then sometimes I hear stories when it's like, so he's really just gonna lay in the bed all day and play his game while <laughs> you <laughs> cooking and running around with the kids and everything. So I'm gonna say, um, yeah, I can say yes and no on that. I know from um, from my point is, um, I get it when you're like going out and you're dating and everything, and um, women still want to pick up their tab. And I feel like that is because we're not sure like where this going. So we try to keep it in the beginning in the friend zone. So that's where it's like, can I pick up my own tag, pay for my own thing? Um, when we get serious in dating, that's that's a different dynamic. So, you know, yeah, you know, old school teachers that when a man take you out, he's supposed to pay. You know, but I know we got this generation where it's different. So um I feel like this. As far as the home, when you come, when you're talking about the home, and if the woman is in the house, I used to, I was in the house for like a year, and my husband didn't have to do anything when he came home. His food was in a uh, microwave or whatever, you know. The children was taken care of. The house was clean. All he had to do was come in, take his shower, do, do, eat his food, and get ready for the next day. I don't think he was probably taking out the trash though. I don't think he did. But most of the time, you know, um, when I clean and cook, I do all that stuff. Like I would take out the trash and all that. So, but um, a lot of women, um, when they sit home, they don't do that. So, yeah, they think that you know, when they when the man come home, they've been home all day, cooking and cleaning and doing whatever. That the little thing that he can do is take out the trash, and there's nothing wrong with that because you gotta realize. And I know men don't know, don't realize this unless they stay home. When you're home and you have children, 
that's a job. That's a job. So you you running around with kids all day and you cooking and you trying to keep the house clean. That is a job. And imagine if you're a woman that's working and trying to do that stuff. That's extra. So to um, expect for the man to at least take out the trash, why not? I don't see nothing wrong with that. Oh, no, no, me either. Me either. I don't see anything wrong with it either. You know, I don't see anything wrong with it either. You know, um, PRS1. So, Ms. Betrayan just, um, she commented on it. She said, So, I would think the question within that question is, are gender roles still a thing as far as who is expected to do what? Hmm, that's a good question. Hmm. Um, it depends. People use that, you know. People use it when they want, when, you know. What I'm saying when they, when they argue, when they, when they, when they already eat, you know. What I'm saying because I don't care. I, I wash dishes, mm -hmm. I do laundry, I've cleaned bathrooms, um, I have dust, I vacuum, I sweep. You know what I mean? So I, I've done it all in in my household. Um, my, my wife have taken the trash out, taken the recycling. Mm -hmm. Um, she's cut the grass, you know, it's never a problem when everyone is working together. It becomes a problem when the person feel like I'm working harder than you motherfucker. Right, right, right. <laughs> I washed dishes last night and I'm getting up to cut the grass the next day. Now we have a problem. And see, that's, that's when the whole, you supposed to be the man. You know, it's not too many men out here that, that, that have that that will start that argument. You know, if he if, if a man wash dishes, right? Oh, if a man uh cut the grass, you know, nine o'clock in the morning and uh he cooked dinner or she cooked dinner or whatever and he washed it, you ain't gonna have too many men that get in the bed with their wife and be like, you know what? Yo, I did a lot of work today. What what did you do? I cut grass and I cleaned the dishes. Come on, baby, you gotta do one of the motherfuckers. Yep. She had oh, she, yeah, she had the Miss Parker shorts on out front while you was cutting the grass. You know? <laughs> Hello, Miss Parker. <laughs> Your wife can wear those things. You ain't gonna pay that shit no more. You know, you yeah, but you remember, you remember you said us guys sometimes we sit around and we talk, right? But you know, you got uh, you know, sometimes you got the conversation with the guys, right? You got the conversation with the fella. They're like, yeah, man, I see what you're going through and stuff like that. You walk out the room and your buddies is like, yo, did you do you, have you ever seen this man wife? Man, man, his girl is fine. I watch grass. I, I mean, I watch I watch the grass. <laughs> I watch the grass. <laughs> I'll, I'll do anything, man. She all she gotta do is keep them shorts on when we go back upstairs. That's all um, she got. You know what I mean? You got dudes dirty as that. They say shit like that. Oh yeah, yeah. The dudes, yeah. dudes. But, but so, you got even you you got even dudes that would actually tell that to the woman like girl you, man mm, mm, you ain't got you can cook I don't care about that I cook for you you know <laughs> that's kind of shit some dudes say though know? yeah oh oh yeah yeah but now, so man, women I, can get by I mean right now there's a lot of athletes who's got wives who pretty much don't know how to do nothing but just be pretty on the pictures <laughs> you know what I mean. And they're finding out, yo, y'all been spending a lot of money on on these, yeah, no, got all, okay. the, got all see, the fancy bags. And I shit. feel like that is um, that is something that's like y'all fault. That's y'all fault. Say it again. Mm -hmm. That's y'all fault, men. When y'all have these women in y'all lives that don't do nothing but look pretty, you right? I because y'all right. know that in the so-called dating process that right. this is what she does because when you're dating like when you're seriously dating she's going to cook for you she's going to clean for you sometimes so you're going to you know, you're going to know what you're getting before you so-called marry them so if you so marry the interview you process looking pretty, then that's what you're going to get when you get married that's part of the interview process yeah right. that's what dating is called courtship you're courting the person but they, you're asking them questions marry. you're trying to find out like if this person is good for me but it, it goes way back with men. It, like it goes back to that thinking when men, own, you know how they say men, men only think with one head, you know, so it's one of them things. Oh my God, she's right. that shit. Um, she gotta right. be my wife. I don't care if she right. can cook. Mm -mm, I'm gonna do this shit. You know, you know what I mean? You gotta yeah. do this thing like that. Nobody, some men don't think mature enough to go, uh, no, she's not good with kids. No, 
Uh, uh-uh. You know, you know, it got a lot of men who get roped into what she can do with her lips and what she can do with her nails and shit and what she can cook. You know what I mean? How well can she sweep? Can she hold the broom correctly? You know, they don't, dudes don't be looking at shit like that sometimes. It's because I always told a shallow. friend of mine, men are surface people. Y'all just see the outside. Exactly. Y'all don't, y'all worry about the inside when it's too late. Like when you have babies and all that stuff. Y'all don't look at the inside and what I'm getting, the quality. Y'all just looking at the surface. Right. Mm-hmm. Bro, I mean, Look, let, let me let me be shallow for a minute. <laughs> for a minute? Let me be shallow. shallow. All the time, <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> so let, let, let me let me break down the surface, right? There's not so the surface is gonna let me know if I do slip up and get you pregnant, what our surface looking kids are going to be. <laughs> all right. Okay. It's not now, always the case, sir. Now it's the man. It's, it's it's most definitely the man's fault when you choose a woman just based on her appearance. Because I know dudes that like their women to stay flossy all the time. Mm-hmm. Like if they go to a football game, you know, your girl showing everybody got like tennis of times on. She's showing up in high heels and shit. Like what the fuck you got heels on for? But he liked her to dress like that because he wants everyone to see how fly she is. She's she's a trophy woman. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, but if I'm spending all and this time, if I'm spending all this money on you, you get your hair, your nails done, you get all the clothes you want to do, right? You, that you want to have, you can at least learn how to boil some damn hot dogs. You know what I'm saying? Open up a can of pork and beans. You know what I'm saying? Make sure when I come home, there's something on the table hot. You, you did what I'm saying, right? But this is yeah. the thing, and 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 when you was dating her, is that something that you talked about? Nah, because I was busy trying to talk my way into those pants. Exactly. So why but get upset or get mad when you decide to marry her and she don't do none of them things? You didn't because, know what you were marrying. Because because just like just like all men know, we do have jobs in the house. Okay, and it's not just laying that pipe. Take the trash out, recycling, cut grass, try to climb on the roof. <laughs> and don't fall. Don't fall. Touché, touché. <laughs> You know, she's like that. so what woman, what woman don't don't know, and I hate to say it, don't know their role. Because they might not have been taught. I had a friend that um everything she did was like in the bowling bag. The bowling bag and like And I was like, girl, you gotta learn how to do something else because that was so after a while. If she wasn't pulling out a bowling bag or a microwave, then her man was not eating. Her children Damn. weren't. See, you know? that's, that's not cool. That's not cool. Today's men, today's men are expected to do way too much. We're expected to be now not just not just fathers. We're expected to be the awesome dad. We got to be a, the best father in the fucking school. So <laughs> you got to pick your kid up from school. You got to go right. on all the trips that the kid had. Guess what? Right. We need a lunch punch. Be the lunch punch. The teacher <laughs> wants to have a conference. We got to have you go up there because we don't want anyone to think that our kid has an absent father. By the way, I need right. my oil light came on chain. Go take it up the Jiffy Loop and get it changed. Can you make sure that the tires are rotated? Oh, <laughs> the grass man didn't cut the grass like he was supposed to, but he's still expecting his full pay. I need you to go whoop his ass. And when you get done with that, you, get done with that, you gotta go ahead. That's a lot. Oh, when you get a chance, I want you, because I know you, you worked all that overtime, I want you to take a picture of your pay stub and post it on Facebook and share it, because I want all my friends to know <laughs> that ain't the kind of man you are. Not only yep. you, all these chores, but you go work and you bring that check home to mom. It, yeah, right. It's pretty fucking much, man. We're expecting to do way too much just to prove that we're not in that so-called stereotype that they, you know, everybody try to put us in. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you can wash the dishes tonight and not wash wash them the next day. Like, hey, you forgot to wash the dishes uh, last night. 
I washed them four nights in a row. What's wrong with your hands? Mm-mm. You got to walk those dishes because you got to be an excellent father and husband. You got to be a damn good example. <laughs> damn good example. Not just for right. this household, but for the fucking world. And well, it, let me, well, let me ask the question. Um, Where's these women at? Where are these women y'all meeting? Huh? Where's these women y'all meeting and marrying that demand all that? Yo, 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 around them all day long. You you walk around <laughs> with one. With them. <laughs> you said with one? You walk around with one. She oh doesn't even marry. She doesn't even have a husband. So who no, is she demanding? That's what she, she gotta step her game up. <laughs> Never. But and that's maybe that's why she's not married. Ex- but it's what she expects. You know, mm-hmm. she's not the only one. You know, I've I, I've heard these crazy conversations and these expectations, and it's like, yo, what man, what man in their right mind is going to stay with you? I'm not staying. I send my child support. I'm good. I'll just you, get you know it. what? You you get it. I think child support need to cut you a check. <laughs> she always promotes <laughs> them. <laughs> Let me tell you Let something. Me, before before we go too far, before we go too far, I want to read what Miss Um Betran put on here, and it's pretty good. Um. She's on the live stream. She got um. I have always felt that women were somehow taught by their mothers and grandmothers to expect too much from men. Uh, when you think about it, fifty or sixty years ago, it was expected for men to basically carry a household. Mm-hmm. Now it seems like even in this modern age, there are women that still believe this narrative to be true because of what they were taught as little girls. And that is true. That is so true. Mm-hmm. Yep. But let me let me say this. I mean, I know someone that when I talk to her, her expectations of what she think a relationship is, what her man is supposed to do. Now, she told me this and it kind of like um, had me like think like, wow. She was like, even when she dated um, she expects for her man to pay, give her an allowance, even if she's. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was like, wow, like, where, where is that going to happen at? Wow. You know? So, um, yeah, I think that sometimes we, as women, we have these um, grand ideas or these expectations about what men are supposed to do. But I do have like old fashioned standards. And um, growing up, you know, my grandfather couldn't work because he was sick, so my grandmother had to work, but he did bring money in the house. And he did, you know, a lot of stuff. The only thing he couldn't do was cook. My grandma didn't trust him in her kitchen. So, um, but he did like the other things in the house. So, and even my father, like my father, um, you know, he knew how to cook and sew and clean. He was really good at cleaning and cooking and things. So um, I grew up around, you know, he had men do both. You know, I seen men um, change the oil, change the tires, all kinds of things. So I'm used to that kind of um, person, but I'm also independent. Like, I don't expect, like someone said to me one time, they were mad at their husband because they didn't fill up the gas tank. Like, they didn't take their car to fill up the gas tank. And I was like, was he driving it? And he was like, no. I just think that on every t- um, Sunday they should go fill up a gas tank. I'm not, even though I have um, old fashioned standards, it's just certain things that, nothing, you know, I don't think women have to do for me. Like, I take my car and do my own oil change. And, matter of fact, I know I don't oil change my own oil. You know, get, my, get the stuff into my car and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's just some things I don't depend on a man to do for me as a woman. Even in my marriage, I didn't depend on him to do a lot of things. I do a lot of things for myself. So I don't know. So my expectation for a man um, doing a whole bunch, um, no, I think it's um, both of y'all out there working. I think like the choice should be split. You know, like I said, when I was in the home for like a year, he didn't have to do too much, not too much at all. So we, look, I, I swear, one of these days we gotta invite Miss Bertrand on the show because she be coming up with some good topics. I mean, some good um comments. This new comment, I got to read it. She says, Chris Rock said that men are basically incapable of receiving unconditional love because men are only loved on the condition that they can provide. And she wants to know what our thoughts on this are. Ms. Betrayan, good job. Good job. I love it. I love when you're on the show. And that is the end of our show, the 14th episode. (laughs) 
Because <laughs> that is absolutely the damn truth. That is, yep. it's, it's the hard <laughs> truth, man. It's right a it. hard truth. Yep. It is a Chris hard truth. It. It's a hard truth, man. I remember when he, uh, doing the show when he said it. It's a hard truth, man. It's, mm -hmm. it's funny, but that shit sucks, man. I, I'm, I'm speaking. So uh, about 10 years ago, uh, mm -hmm. I was in between jobs. And um, you talk about probably the deep, roughest period of my life when you, as a man, you walk through the door and you, you ain't coming from work. And, you know, you, you're looking for work, putting applications in, going on interviews. Well, you just need to get out the house for a while, and you walk through the house. And, um, you know, you being a man in the house, kids automatically think that daddy has all the money. Daddy has all the money. Can you imagine walking in the house, and you ain't got no money in your pocket. The only money I had in my pocket was the money that my wife gave me. She's like, well, here's some money. Go have some lunch or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I had no money in my pocket. So to walk in the house and my kids greet me at the door, Daddy, can we go get this? Can we go get that? Can we go get this? Daddy. And, you know, they're looking at you. And it's like the hardest, worst feeling in the world. Now, my wife supported me, stood by me, and she held us down. You know what I'm saying? And I love her to death for it. But at the right. same time, Every man knows what the expectation is for them. So mm -hmm. when you're not meeting that expectation as a man, that shit, man, you, even though people say they love you, they there for you, in the back of your head, you think, how can you love me? I'm not providing like I fucking should, man. I can't even go out here and cut myself a piece, slice a piece of from fucking 7-Eleven if I wanted to. I got to ask my woman for some money. So that's I'm gonna tell you now, man. So that shit is that shit is spot on. So when he said that, I'm like, he motherfucking right. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying like my, my wife and my kids didn't. But let's say if the shit continues, oh this promoter's uh, got some fucking bad luck. He can't get a job. <laughs> right. I can almost guarantee that unfortunately it would put a strain on my marriage. We wouldn't be together. And I would be living somewhere else. She would be living somewhere else. Not because we didn't love each other, but because of the strain financially. Right. And mm -hmm. I wasn't able to help out in the household. So, it, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's the fucking truth. Whereas a woman, if she don't have a job or lost a job or can't find a job, guess what? Just call me Buck. I'm going to go out here in these fields with no shoes on. I'm going to plow these weeds. I'm going to pick that cotton. It's expected of me to work 20 hours a day. She can go eight years without a job. It's not expected of a woman to go work. It's well, let me say this. Let me say this. Here's the old-fashioned part. Um, because the woman so-called place is really in the home. You know what I mean? And it wasn't until, you know, things have changed that both parties had to go out and work. And the reason why, I mean, look at our children. If we both working and both of us working overtime or both of us building a, um, a business, who is taking care of the children? TV and somebody else, you know? So that's why it was a lot for women to be in the home so someone can be there to rear the rear of the kids. That that was part of the, um a job of a woman. So that is why the, that scenario is like a man can go out and, and work and a woman can stay in a home for eight years, but the opposite, because to be honest, I'm gonna be honest, it's not our place as a woman to be in the work field. We're not mentally um built for that. The work field is really for the man. The woman's supposed to raise the kids, bring them, teach them how to be um, respectful adults and stuff in the community. But of course, we know society is not like that. These days, we both have to go out and work. But then we got to look at the dynamic of our home and how our children are. This is why we have, if we don't have good parents, you know, in a, in a home or trying to be good parents in the home, this is why you have so many children out on the street or doing other things. And then we're wondering why our children are like that. You know, we get mad when they act out, but there's nobody really there. We are out here working. Somebody has to be in the home to watch these kids, 
to take care of them, to go to the schools, to take them to their doctor's appointments and stuff like that. You know, but we got away from that. So now to us, it's foreign. It's foreign when it's like, well, the woman stay home and the man have to go out and work. It's a problem. You know, so that's just my opinion. Before, before you say something, PRS1, I agree with you. I agree with you 100% savvy. Uh, but unfortunately, we lost 92% of our female listeners uh, because they, they <laughs> obviously don't agree with you. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. But look, the ones that dropped off, they the ones complaining about having to go out and work all the time. There you go. There you go. But um, I think, um, what was I going to say? Um, and I went, I, I think it goes back to like raising kids. You know, it's like, um, you basically, I, 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 I remember a long time ago, you know, somebody saying, one of my family members saying, when you're raising your son and your daughter and stuff like that, you're not raising a young man, a young lady. You're raising somebody's husband and you're raising somebody's wife. Exactly. Right. And you have to teach them according to that. So, and I think somewhere, you know, you teach your girls, hey, don't expect this from a man. Don't expect that from a man. He has to do this and he has to do that. And then your, your sons, you're like, look, you better treat that girl with respect. Make sure you open the door. Make sure you, you know, whatever she wants, you provide. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? And are we the ones now because we're doing that? It's how we raise our kids. Is this how society's going to be? You know what I mean? It's one of those things. Well, you got some parents who have probably went through bad stuff. It's like, man, if your father wasn't shit, no man gonna be shit. You know, no man you ever gonna be men are just shit. So you know, so don't expect nothing from them. You know, no, no. Make sure you can do things. How I was raised, I was raised to do all the chores. I mean, I did, I did the men's chores and the women's chores. When I right, when I became a single parent. I, it, it wasn't like, oh, damn, I got a YouTube how to boil water. No, I, I knew how to take a diaper. I knew how to take care of my son. Right. <laughs> I knew how to do stuff because that's how my, mo my mother trained me. I, I, I was doing chores inside. I, I, took, I could take care of my sister. I knew about my, like when my daughter, I, I remember my, my mom was so busy working or whatever. Um, where was she at the time? Oh, no, she had left her to go to the Virgin Islands to work. And um, that's when my sister had her period. And my father, at this experience, my father's experience with it, de dealing with it, taught me like, oh, us men can handle it. He was a champ. My father went in and said, oh, this is what happens. Da, da, da. And he explained the whole menstrual cycle to her. Um, went out, got her to, 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 and he made it a little family thing because it was just me and my sister, it just the two of us. So it was, and I learned from that, you know, so when my daughter, went through hers. It was one of those things where your daughter, my daughter felt, oh, I can go to my dad about this because, you know, you know, but a lot of girls don't feel comfortable going to dad. Some dads will be like, oh, no, she bleeding. Go to your mother. Go to your mother. Go, go to your mother. <laughs> my father was the opposite. My father but I guess like it's that. how you raised. Yeah, my father was like that. My mother was like, uh, Donnie, um, you need to deal with your daughter on this. And I'm looking at her like, isn't that your job, man? But no, my right. father had to deal with that when it came to me. Mm -hmm. Right. My dad did. My dad did a, did a great job when it came to my sister and her um, mental issues. Mm. 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 <laughs> uh oh. So we got we got Mr. Mark Little. What's up? We got Miss Jeanette. Some of these men have given us women no choice to work. Well, if you would have been a good girlfriend, he would have stuck around. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Low blow. Did she Low just blow. sign off? <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. That's most women. That I mean, I, not most women. Let me take it back. Most relationships end, and guess what? Now you got to fend for yourself. Either you was a bad boyfriend or you was a bad girlfriend. <laughs> right. You should have been better, whichever the one. So, you know. <laughs> she going to spell your name or your rank wrong on your ID. What? Ah, this, I'm not going to pay for it. Now, but it. So, the, 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 the next one. Um, should Wait, 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 should should men expect should men should women expect expect more from from women? Should men expect more? Oh, I think I tagged it wrong in the pen. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So, so everybody, should men expect more from women? Ooh, I'm not even going to go for this. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, I'm you not, are. I don't I'm even not, know not, why you're pulling I, this out. I, I, I want PRS one to do it. I want him to go first. I, I ain't going first. <laughs> I ain't going for Should it. men expect more from women? Um, 
I am going to go first. I touch him of mine. I'm going first. I'm going first. <laughs> Tag him out, tag him out. Tag, tag, tag you it. Tag, I'm in, I'm in the ring. I got you, I got you. Right, 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 let's go. Yes, and, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you. Fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, whoa. What did you say? <laughs> I'm going to tell you why men should expect more from women. Women are better than we are. Women are way better than we are. <laughs> We, <laughs> we, hey, look, we are who we are. I've always said it. Men have not changed. We have not changed the whole time we've been on this planet. Women have done a fabulous job of evolving, changing when needed to change, and being able to bring change into our life and making us better, making the transition for us a hell of a lot easier and possible. Women are the difference in a man's life. So hell yeah, you should expect more from your woman because she will make you a better person and which will make you a better man, a better husband, and a better father. We need our women. And that's that's just what it is. We need our women and we need to appreciate and we need to tell them just how important what they do in our lives, what they do when they're away from us, whether it's on a job, whether it's home, with our children, when they come and they, they meet somebody that just happens to know who she is because they know me and represent us. Hell yeah. We you, If you expect more from your woman, I promise you, your life will be a hell of a lot better than what it is. Okay. So, wasn't expecting that. Thought I was going, dog, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I had to bravo, bravo on that, bravo, bravo. <laughs> Mac is speechless. Wow. <laughs> I have an effect on women, man. I have that effect. Really? Uh oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Okay. PRS one, I had to cut you off, but go ahead, brother. <laughs> hey, you said it, man. You good? I'm good. I take you in. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah, I think um, it's one of those things. I don't know if it's uh, expecting more would be the, the the question. It would be, I, see, I, I always believe in working as a team, you know, and, and, and sometimes if you can explain it right, or everybody can learn, you know, you know what I mean? And you can do things that, together as a project or learn to help each other out, you know, like, in, in, you know, in my, in my situation, my marriage and stuff like that, we, um, I think we're pretty much balanced. I, I, I do dumb stuff. I don't do as much that she might expect me to do, but I do my part. Same with her. She pulls her, she pulls her weight. You know, it's all about give and take and da da da. And if right. you can communicate, right. Yeah. And I think if you can communicate with each other, well, hey, you're not doing this or you're not doing that or, but not that you're not doing it, but um, can you help me with this? Da -da 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 -da. You know, something right. like that. You just gotta know how to, to communicate. I think you, you, you can pull it together. A good leader, you can pull it together. Right, right. Yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that. I, I agree when, you have a good um, leader in the home. Everybody else would fall right in line and, and follow. Right, right, right. Especially you know, make it like a family project. Yeah. Know, like yeah. Some guys just complain and go go straight to that Jack Daniel bottle. You know, like that. Exactly. And she ain't shit. My mother won't shit. I should have known how she was gonna be. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. You right. Do, instead of saying, "Well, hey, let me take a step back." Hey, um. Hey, babe, come here. So um, I got this to do. Da, 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 da. How can we, um, what do you think we should do about this? You know? And she was like, man, I ain't got no time for that. I got to watch my show. You know? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. We, we, have a, we have a bitter woman on here today. We have a bitter oh, woman. What's her name? I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to read a comment. OK. <laughs> That's not always true. You can have your partners back, and they can take that for granted. But try to stay positive, damn it. If I was positive, I'm gonna go ahead and encourage your ass to be positive. But since you want to go down that road, you to go down that road. Let me you go down that road. If right. You are a good woman in that relationship, good things will happen most of the time. Right. Now, if you, you got some dude if you dating pieces of shit, you going to have little pieces of shit. <laughs> you, got, you got some women out there, man. Go out with it. Oh, he ain't. He don't do shit, man. He don't do shit, but he could suck the whole chrome off a of Harley. 
God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Once yeah. he can do his thing. Yeah. Once he can do his thing, sometimes that's all that matters for some women. <laughs> and, but that goes back to like when we were talking about men dating women and then women not you know be able to do things in the home that's nope. the same thing for women you know sometimes we get caught up with the looks we get caught up how well they are in bed you know then later on we find out they ain't good with finance they don't like to work in your dream sir in your dream um, <laughs> <laughs> you know they don't like to work they don't like to you know do anything so you know sometimes like that's the part of when you're trying to get serious the part of the courtship process you got to find all this stuff out. and i mean yeah, i know yeah. people because a lot one of my friends always say that people come with their representation of who they are and then when you get involved with them you find out truly i believe in that too like people Absolutely. can put on a good front they can put on a good front and then when you get married to them or you're dating them you start saying like oh wait a minute hold up like why do you see this you know um one of my friends um he told me it's very important to him when he's dating. Even in a friendship, you have to be yourself because that's the only way he's going to be comfortable. He needs to see who you truly are. And I agree with that. You know, we go out on these dates and we pretend to be something that we're not. I'm telling y'all, what y'all see is what y'all get. I'm not going to all that, you know, so. Yep. And you got that conversation mode. I need you not to. That's when we got that conversation about, hey man, I met this girl talking about savvy, right? You met I met this girl, she got the best name. I'm in her ass. <laughs> man. My girl got better snacks than yours. Mr. Mr. Mark Little says some women feel men need to take care of them. If not, he should have never taken a wife, but we need each other to be able to take over the world. Right. Right, but you gotta. You, try, you have to try to find the, the right partner for you. You gotta. You really got. You know, one thing we have to realize that nobody is perfect. There's no perfection, and we look for that. We try to look for this perfect person. You know, I had somebody say, um, "I need a, a a woman that has a big butt, real pretty. You know, long hair. You know, and then say." But I found that so many times, and they they wasn't about nothing. They brought nothing to the table. So yeah. it's like, what are you looking for when you're looking for a mate, a life partner? You know, it's not. I mean, to be honest, we all see the outside first, whatever attracts us. You know, let's be honest about that. But sometimes I can see a nice looking guy. Then when I talk to him, if he starts saying something stupid, it's like I can't even see that no more. It's like, now what you say? Cause you sound about dumb as I don't know what. You know, and sometimes you have to go back. You gotta see what somebody is thinking, how they treat their, their family members, you know, how they treat their friends, you know, how they cause it's gonna determine how they're gonna treat you. So it's like you it's, you always have to do your investigation when you go out there. So when you get these relationships and it don't work or uh, you know, you gotta kind of blame yourself for that because you didn't do your due diligence. I thought she felt good enough. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Help us, man! <laughs> All right, so I love it when I love it when the spouses jump in and and comment. Oh Lord! <laughs> so, Pam. <laughs> Pam said, uh, you, hey, you can't change a person, so what you get is what you get. You're stuck with it. You're stuck <laughs> with it. Let me tell you, you know, I'm going to tell you, and, and this is some real shallow stuff about men. I'm going to tell you right now, You and, and I, I've always said it, you can get your man to do all the house, all the housework every day of the week um, if you give him some ass every day. Here we go with that. Here we go. But snack. you know, some men, some men don't think like that, Mr. Ramon. Some men do not think like that. They don't think like if I get sex all the time, I'll do all the work in the house. No. No, 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 no. Not sex. Good sex. Good sex, no. sex. This is different. Half sex. It is what it is. Everybody don't think Ooh. like that. Hey, hey, ask ask any man. Now we're talking about men who don't have a problem getting their erect. Okay, brothers who have no problem getting an erection, of course, of course they're gonna say that. But a brother uh, uh, two, two or three times for you, he goes, let me tell you something. 
if my wife and I it gave it to me five days a week, right? Uh-huh. Me, I I would get I would do whatever the hell she asked me. I would I fucking I I'll do it. Because I know when I get done doing it, I'm gonna get some of that special sex. First of all, first of all, you probably can't even do it five times a week. So let, let me tell you something. We so, always talk about what we want and what we can do. Let me t- so so you notice I rock back and forth on my chair, right? <laughs> That's because I'm sitting on my penis. That's how big it is. <laughs> Do we have like that thing you can bleep stuff out? <laughs> you can bleep stuff out. Like, please stay out. Like, please, please. I'm gonna give me a Hey, right. oh wait a minute, wait a minute. We got we got Mr. Jerome Peters on here. You say you think it's the other way around. I think men expect too much from women. Thank you, sir. Thank you, whoever you are. You're my new best friend. <laughs> Jerome Peters, Peters, I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking about put, pulling you on camera because I, I see where we can add you on camera here. But let me yeah, know if you want to jump on. on. Pull Please, on. We got to be my new best friend. We got to have a free model. Right, right, right. He must, he must be from like Idaho or something. Some Idaho. Wow. Right, he must be. Uh, wait, uh, what, what do you call him? Amish. Amish. He probably Amish. Because they say you Amish, man. I mean, everybody is not going to think that, you know, their wife or woman has to jump off rooms and go backwards on it and all that five times a day. Especially if she's right. working, like, give the sister a break. And she got to come home and cook and clean for your big head and your big head kids. Come on now. You said it, big head, baby. You said it. You know what? <laughs> Look. All I'm saying is, there's a way to get your man to do whatever it is you want him to do. It might not be sex. It might be he like comic books. So, you know, every Wednesday, um, the new comic books come out, go out in comic book form. You know, or your man might be like video games. You know, next week on um, Thursday, The Last of Us 2 come out on PlayStation 4. I notice how I'm <laughs> dropping ants. Yeah, I see. The uh, tickets for the NFL season are available right now. Father's Day is coming up, ladies. There are things that you can do to motivate your man to be the slave that you want him to be. <laughs> um, yeah, I, yeah, I agree. I mean, you should, you should, y'all should be motivating each other. Right, right, um, right. That's so it, think, bro. Oh, oh Mo, Mo, you gotta read. You gotta read um, Nunu's comment. Oops. Ms. Jeanette. Oh, shit. <laughs> if you and your partner are connected mentally, I feel there's no relationship because physically I can have sex with myself. I'm just saying. Well, I guess I'm... you'll be having sex by yourself. <laughs> you <know? laughs> right? Huh? Wait, 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 who is this person? Jeanette. <laughs> Lord, I mean, I'm sorry, Mr. Matt. I just can't agree with that, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not on your team right now with that one. Oh, Lord. Mm-mm. Oh, man. I mean, Hell we all true. got our opinions. Break so. out the turkey baster. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry. It's nothing like a strong man. You know, all that other extra stuff. Come on. It's good every now and again, but I need I need the flesh. I need to feel. So... Feel what? Shut your mouth. Why do you have to gotta? See, I don't know. I, 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 I kind of wish we had our couple same-sex gender um, folks on here to comment. And I would love to hear that this, the same expectation level from a girl-girl relationship and a guy-guy relationship. I would love to hear the comments on this. Like, I'm, yeah, this I would, would be so interesting to me. I would love to hit a girl, girl. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, I, I think like it. in some of them relationships, it's always someone that's um dominant in the relationship. Not all the time, right. but it is. Right, right, right. Like you that, know, it, so we might have to do that for another show. Yeah, yep, that would be a, another show. Yeah. Right. I would yeah. love to hear that. Yeah, uh, Jesus Christ. That, that, what, I, women expect from women. what women expect from women? <laughs> you know, it's a spouse thing. What men yeah, expect man. from men? But see, that's, that's the crazy thing. That's the, from what I've seen, it seemed like you know the 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 same sex women relationship. They have sex all the time. How do so, you know that? How do you know that? I'm not for that to be true. 
see names. I'm not gonna say any names, but this individual always seem happy, ready to go home. So I'm not gonna say no names, but it seemed like you know they motivated. They always cooking and cleaning, building the house, tearing it down. So it seemed like you know the whole intimacy in the relationship for them it worked. You give some, I will go get it done. So I, I would love to, to really have like you said, someone to come on and and talk about that because right, you know it's it's definitely something that I don't I don't know all about, but I can tell you right here this guy right here. You give me some of that pie and I'm gonna lay it down. You hear what I'm saying? I'm going ahead and build. <laughs> Period. Miss Hillett jumped on. She said, uh, I guess she's speaking. Yeah, here go. Is Hillett behaving? Oh, brother. <laughs> Amen, brother. And he newly married and love his queen. Yeah, she's talking about Peter. Jerome. So he's newly he's newly married. <laughs> I understand his answer now. All is well. He's just <laughs> Damn. He just what? He just started. Just started. <laughs> oh. He ain't got enough whips on the on his back yet. You know that was funny because um when I first visit my um my husband's um family, it was around like Thanksgiving or something, and the women was in the kitchen and the men was watching um the fo football and um they were talking and they kept asking me questions and they were like, Oh, she just knew. But wait till she comes back next year. And my, I came back next year, and I was part of the conversation. So yeah, you know, when you had that good, fresh, whatever relationship, yeah, you all start out. He can't do no. Mm -hmm. You don't know, get to talk You accept, you you accept and everything. Then, right, and then after a while, it's like, can you put the to call it the um, toilet seat down? Can you turn the light on? Why are you chewing like that? You Why you got this shit with the door open? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a conversation with you while you taking a poop. Come on, man. Right, right. It's, it's like everything now is just like, man, I ain't seen this thing again. That's because you had them story guys. So, but it's all good, you know. That fresh love, it's, it's all good. I love it. I'm for it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here go Jerome. Rome, Rome said, um, the reason I say it is because, uh, let's be honest, men are the hardest species to change. But when a man no, has a woman. They yes. expect her to walk a certain way, dress a certain way, talk a certain way, basically showing their insecurities. Because the way she was when he met her is what attracted him to her. A man has to be strong and content to expect his queen for who she is, except the queen for who she is. So we've all seen coming to America, right? <laughs> we've seen coming to America. Yeah. And Eddie Murphy had just been introduced to his bride to be. And this is the best part, and we should walk away with this and believe it. When he said, bark like a dog. Woof. Woof. A big dog. <laughs> woof. 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 <laughs> there you go. That's the expectation. So let me say this <laughs> for all the ladies out there. I'm going to have a picture with Ramon's face on it, and I'm going to have some darts. We're gonna have a good old time with them darts. Guys, a good old time. But that man crazy. <laughs> All right. So Mo, I think this is where we can wrap it up. I don't know if you we we, we can start. Yeah, this this is about good right here. Yeah, yeah. This is a good topic. Yeah, I, I and I think like you're right. We should revisit it with um some with, couples. With the same, right. Some, we can get some couples though. We'll we'll work on getting some couples on. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so PRS one, what you got going on, brother? All right, well, we um, you know, PRS one, Trinity Spice FM. That's my thing. I'm running that. Um, we um, you know, for for those of you just tuning in, um, I run Trinity Spice FM. Uh, I'm the owner. I'm the you know, um, it's a Caribbean music station. <laughs> I kind of got lost for words there for a minute. Caribbean music station. Um. You can tune in for us. Uh, tune in. We run it 24-7. We're an online station. Um, you can tune in. Uh, we got our own app. Um, you can, it's available on iOS and Android platforms. Um, you can listen to us on Alexa. Just uh, enable us on your Alexa device. Um, we're also available on Simple Radio and TuneIn. You know, you go on to TuneIn, just um, look up Trinity Spice FM. And... Um, for all your Caribbean music. Um, you could even jump on our site, www.trinispicefm1.com. And um, I got like good merchandise you can buy on there if you want to. Um, 
You can always cash at me, Trinity Spice FM. You know, we, every little bit helps. Um, yeah, and, and anything you want Caribbean, we, we got it going on. Um, I love what I do. It's a, a work of love. Um, and with that, I can pass it on to um, Savvy. Yeah, so, you know, we're still working hard, my team, for um, fashion statement um, to Savvy. Um, hopefully, we still can put it on in November. I want to say if anybody um, wants to then, um, they have a business that they want to uh, then, I'm looking for the vendors to then at the show. So you can um, hit me up on IG. At um, Savvy Event 1987, that's and I'll um, answer you back. Also, um, I have a meeting tonight about two of the um, events that were put on hold. So, one of them, I'm having a meeting tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. See, um, what I'm doing going forward with that. Um, and also, I'm just looking forward to see what we have going on uh, with uh, Goodbye on television. I'm very excited about um, our collaboration. Is that it? Is you want to take a, a spoonful <laughs> of whatever you was eating, and are you done? You know what, sir? Do you work tomorrow? I do. Oh, oh, I you know, too. you know what? I know. I know. We always. I, I know. We, we we do it at the end of it. But Mac, I think you should. You think you should tell the viewers about the show for next week, the Fathers Day show. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I got a great lineup for y'all guys next week. Yeah, we we, we got, got the night off. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, what? You won't get the night off. Right. So the men not gonna be on there. It's gonna be all women's show. It's gonna be great. Y'all gotta tune in because yes, we're gonna be giving the props to the fathers, but we're gonna delve we're gonna delve deep into some stuff about women <laughs> and women relationships. So make sure you tune in next you, week, man. I got some fire women coming on. Y'all need to be y'all better tune in. I'm telling you. I need all we don't know which way this gonna go. Is either we gonna get bashed or we gonna get praised? I don't know which way it's gonna go. Yeah, you just have to, just have to tune in. Tune in next week. Thank you, love you guys. <laughs> Bunch of bitter ass mothers. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I tune in. Oh, we gonna be in the comments. Oh, no, we gonna be in the comments. We are gonna definitely be in the comments. Yes, Lord. Uh, so, uh, everybody, I see my name, Ramon Lindsay. I go by the name RL on the show here. Uh, I go by Moan. Uh, I oversee the company of Real Legend. Um, I'm excited. I brought it over. I showed, showed my piece. I want everybody to see. So, the book is done. The book is done. It's completed. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. It'll be out this summer. It's called Why Good Men Hate Women. Look, it's a good book. Don't Don't hear the title and be like, oh, this Negro crazy. It's a really good book. It's a good read. It's uh, to help men and women. Um, a lot of good things with GVTV. Of course, we got the mugs that are coming. Miss uh, Betran, I actually have your mug. I have your mug, Betran. So I'm going to get up with you and I'll get you your mug. We're going to have T-shirts coming your way. I'm excited about that because I'm going to go ahead and get the device. I'm going to hook that bad boy up. Also, we'll have face masks. Face masks. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and do something. There's some president out here in the world. Of course, we want to make money, but we ain't trying to take your money. We want to sell the face masks anywhere from eight to ten dollars. Now y'all know that's damn good because y'all people out here selling their face masks fifteen twenty five. So we are gonna look out for you because we want you to stay healthy and protect yourself from COVID nineteen. And for people who tune in and support us and have us uh, showing support, we will give that stuff away to you. We're not going to charge you. We ain't going to make you pay for it. You show love. We're going to show love back to you. We appreciate you. Um, and, your and, I with, yeah, and I guess with that being said, oh, wait a minute. This is the 14th episode. We only have, what, five more left? Six more left? Well, five more. Right. In the first season, right. The 20th episode is going to be a location episode. We're going to hold uh, the show in a hotel it's going to be a pajama jammy jam. We're going, it's a special show, and we're going to have people on, and we're going to pretty much just have a really great adult conversation, okay? So if you guys are into that, I know a few of y'all are going to hit me up and hit PRS one up, Miss Savia, please do that. I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, it's going to be a special location, pajama jammy jam. Do not come up to the spot with torn up 
sweatpants, shit you wear around your house, around the kids, and white oh, beaters. Oh, grown and sexy, y'all. Grown and sexy. Grown and sexy. So if you got to do some bras and white beaters. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now, <laughs> for any spouse who are just hearing about this, I was going to tell you. <laughs> just can't get around to it. But it's going to be fun. So please, please pay attention to when we put that word out. Uh, again, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for showing the support that you've always shown. We appreciate you. And uh, until next week, y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. GVTV. Hey, Bob TV, we out.